Hello and welcome to Carol's Classroom. Today, we're going to talk about how to teach students the process for conducting genuine research to find answers to questions or problems. In open court reading, this process is called inquiry. Think about some of the big decisions your students need to make every day. Maybe it's when to do their homework, how to handle a conflict among friends, or simply what to wear. Even simple decisions involve some version of the inquiry process to explore ideas or find answers to questions. Similar problem solving is often found in literature students read. Inquiry provides an excellent platform to discuss and teach these skills that are applicable to students' everyday lives. Over the course of each unit in open court reading, students will be involved with the inquiry process. The inquiry process includes develop questions, create conjectures, collect information, revise conjectures, develop presentations, and deliver presentations. These steps are found in your teacher's edition and also at the point of use throughout each lesson. So, let's take a closer look at inquiry in the first unit of grade five. The process begins with developing questions. Keep in mind the concept question board is an excellent resource. Students may use those questions as topics for research. Remember, the topics and questions should be student driven. Here's how it works. All right, class, during our unit on perseverance, we're gonna learn about the inquiry process. What does the word inquiry mean to you? I heard someone say asking questions. That's a great answer. So is wondering about things and finding information to answer our questions. Let's talk about what makes a good question to research. Good questions usually begin with how or why. I found this question on our concept question board. How can I persevere when trying to teach my dog new tricks? Well, that's a great question. I have two dogs. I think I'll use that one. Now that I have a good question, I will need to form a conjecture. Remember, a conjecture is the answer to a question based on what you already know. The great thing about a conjecture is that you can always revise it after reading and learning new information. For example, my question is, how can you persevere when trying to teach your dog new tricks? Think about what a good conjecture might be. The conjecture I'm thinking is, having a lot of short training sessions will help me persevere when I'm trying to teach my dog new tricks. The next step in the inquiry process is to collect information. Where could I find information about dog training? Well, that's right. I could read a book about it, or I could research the topic at the library or on the internet. Help me think of another resource. Well, yes, I could interview a dog trainer. As you are teaching inquiry throughout each unit, the teacher's edition, either in print or online, includes strategies for instruction on each step we are covering here. Let's go on. After I've collected and reviewed new information, I need to revisit and maybe revise or change my conjecture. My first conjecture was, having a lot of short training sessions will help me persevere when teaching my dog new tricks. Now that I've gathered more information, I need to revise my conjecture. My new conjecture is, in order to persevere when training my dog, I need to have a lot of short training sessions. I also need to use treats and lots of praise when he performs correctly. Now I need to figure out how to share my information. What are some ways I could share what I've learned? Well, yes, I could bring my dog in to show the tricks I taught him. I could invite a dog trainer to give a talk. You know, I could also make a poster that shares the information or put together pictures of me training my dog. Those are great ideas. Now let's talk about giving presentations. When you're the presenter, make sure that you are organized and everyone is ready. When speaking to an audience, make sure you speak in a loud voice and at a pace that isn't too fast or too slow. Make eye contact with the people who are listening to you. When you're a member of the audience, make sure you're paying attention to what the speaker is saying. Think of something new you've learned or any questions you have. After each presentation, you can share your thoughts with the presenter or ask any questions you might have. For example, you could say, I really like how you used pictures. 
or your visuals help me understand how to reward a dog. Inquiry is the heart of open court reading. Following this process teaches students how to apply inquiry skills to what they read and write. Have a great day, everyone. I look forward to seeing you again for the next Carol's Classroom.